Ambassador Lisa Johnson presented her letters of credence to President Hagi Gengop and reaffirmed her country's support towards Namibia's development initiatives in the areas of health, education and wildlife conservation. Johnson's assurance comes amid a bit of a shake-up in the U.S.-Africa relations over President Trump's reported derogatory and Valka reference to the African and Caribbean nations, comments condemned by many countries, including Namibia. Our engagement in Africa and our relationships are about much more than one comment. They're very deep. Um, for instance, we're increasing our commitment here in Namibia. Um, there's even more funding this year under the current administration to combat HIV and AIDS. We're not walking away from Africa at all. We really respect our Namibian colleagues that we work with in the embassy and the people we go out and meet every day. It's a very rich relationship between the United States and the African peoples. And I just came from the Bahamas and also the Afro-Caribbean people, originally from Africa. So no, it's a, it's a much broader relationship than a single comment. The U.S. diplomat also dismissed reports of her government increasing pressure on Namibia over North Korean ties amid the U.N. sanctions. One of the things you'll see me work on here quite a bit is trade that benefits both of our countries. And we have a very ready-made partner in the government of Namibia, the president assured me. So I'm looking forward to discussing all these issues with everyone in more depth in the coming days. According to the Office of the United States Trade Representative, Namibia is currently its 132nd largest goods trading partner with 305 million U.S. dollars in total two-way goods since 2016 and also through the African Growth and Opportunity Act known as AGOA. Blanche Corres, NBC News.